whoever lives in Warsaw cannot ignore thousands of Israeli visiting city. As a tourist guide, I was curious about the reasons that bring them here. So I asked them. These Israelis miss so much! Maybe someone should show them non-Holocaust side of the city. Old Town was the heart of pre-war Royal Warsaw. Full of beautiful medieval tenement buildings will make you feel right like in deep 14th century. Here we can see a new modern minimalistic building designed by Finnish architect Rainer Machlamaki. This is a pure example of new modern developing Warsaw. In this authentic old Royal Garden of Warsaw, we can see Krasinski Palace, the most beautiful Baroque building from 17th century in the city. This building is the finest example of modernist interpretation of Polish neoclassicism in architecture. Interior is designed according to rules of Polish decorative art. Interesting, isn't it? Modern Warsaw is full of breathtaking skyscrapers, which are the symbol of tremendous growth of Polish economy. Welcome to Warsaw, Paris of the East! This random part of the city was completely grounded by cruel German Nazi army. The worst enemy of Jewish people. This terrific monument was built to commemorate all victims of Warsaw Ghetto Uprising. They were fighting till their last breath. Look, right over there was the main entrance to Warsaw Ghetto. Warsaw Ghetto was the biggest ghetto of Holocaust. This terrifying, oversized, monumental building served no less than German Nazi Gestapo police. And you know what? Now it's Polish Ministry of Education. That's the place where the main synagogue of Warsaw was located. Its destruction was the symbol of the end of Jewish society in Warsaw. Welcome to Warsaw, the capital of the Holocaust. After me, we are going to the ghetto. 